ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to take a look at my collection of vintage and also reproduction Halloween die cuts. There's a whole lot of like Beistel die cuts in here and I thought we'd just have fun looking at them. I've wanted to do this for a couple years, so let's do it. Got a happy little jack-o'-lantern boy here. Nice little face. This is a reproduction of a Beistel design. I, look at this. Oh my God, if only this was me, the amount of ladies I would get, it would be insane. Here's another one. Another really nice little Beistel design. This one is in really good condition. Oh, look at that. Different little faces, little designs looking different ways. Oh, this one is a girl because it's got eyelashes. That's cute. Oh my God, look at this. I could make a dress with big shoulder pads out of these guys. Everybody loves a flaming skull. This is an iconic Beistel uh, design. This is one that if you know Beistel, if you know classic Halloween, uh, this is a good one. It is one-sided and not a vintage one. This is a reproduction, but I like that Beistel has reproductions because it's like otherwise you'd be spending thousands of dollars to get a collection going. Now this thing is pretty cool. It's actually meant to have this big like honeycomb flower thing that goes around it. You see it's like got this little thing in the middle. You're supposed to put that on. I accidentally ruined it, so I have to get a new one. But I just love that design. Look at that. It is a witch with a cauldron. Little, oh no, it's actually a jack-o'-lantern, not a cauldron. But that's just, I mean, that's just good old fashioned witchcraft. Oh, there's a little cat there too. Oh boy, it's very good, two-sided. Now here's what I do when I, when I store these. I like to put um, wax paper over the tape so that I can just peel it off and use that tape again. And they're reproductions, so it's okay. That's a great one. Another iconic design, good looking face. This is my kind of lady. The moon is looking down on her. Let's, let's look at an actual vintage one. So this is one of my favorites, okay? It's, it's still, oh, hey, nice crotch shot. Um, but this is a, I don't know what brand this is. I don't believe it's Bystel. It's from the 1970s or 80s. I really should be taking better care of it. But this is a huge, like six foot tall. He's, he's about my size, I don't know, maybe a little shorter than six foot. Look at this shot right here. I've made a new friend. Uh, <laughs> no, so this, the reason I, hold on a second. The reason I like this guy, oh my God, we're doing something here, I don't know what's happening. The reason I like this skeleton so much is because this skeleton was such a part of my childhood. This was always displayed in my grandparents' window. They have like a big picture window. Like, I don't even know if you'd call it a picture window. It's pretty big. And my grandma would always have this Halloween display and he would always be in there or on the front door. So this, this guy was like through the 80s and the early 90s. Uh, so I love it. It's just instant vintage Halloween. This is Halloween to me. He's got a stopwatch with a worm in it. He's got a little wear and tear. Oh my God, he's got a bullet hole through his skull. That got real dark. But um, I just love the artwork. It's like hand painted. Oh my God, he's got all sorts of problems. No wonder this guy died, but he's great. He also has a ball and chain on his foot, which is ripped, which I have to retape. But what is this pose? I'm gonna get demonetized. But this is my favorite. Like when it comes to um, Halloween die cuts, this guy's my favorite. He is one-sided, but uh, just so great. Such a, such a wonderful thing. This is, I cherish this, not only because it's part of my childhood, but it was handed down from my grandma, who's still with us, but you know, she gave these to me. So yeah, this guy's top tier. I don't really know what brand this one is either. Is it marked? It's not marked with a date or anything, but it is a big, kind of thicker. Can you hear that? Um, but it's a jack-o'-lantern just kind of a big, thick, thicker cardboard jack-o'-lantern. What do you call these guys? Like wind dancers or like honeycomb dancers? But these are great. I believe these are vintage. I got these from my neighbor's garage sale, I'm pretty sure. And they wouldn't have reproductions. So these might be vintage ones. Please feel free to let me know. 
They got no double printed thing going on, but these are pretty great. Keeping with the theme of dancing, we've got a little go-go girl. So you can get these right now on vintagebystel.com. And uh, you know, she's not vintage, but I've also got, I like him a little better, I mean, come on. A little skeleton with the uh, guitar. That is just, that is wonderful. He's got, look at his guitar. There's a, there's a witch on the guitar. Nice little detail there. Okay, I've got a pile of them here. Let's do a little quick fire look at these. Got a wonderful owl from Beistel, two-sided. We've got a Freddy cat. Oh, two-sided there. We've got this ghost, which I believe this used to be a table decoration that they just reproduced as like a little die cut. I could be wrong. Like a little placeholder thing for like name tags or something on a table. But again, very iconic artwork there. Got This is very iconic. There's like a whole, I think there's like four of these. I've got them all. I have an original of these in that box. So we'll look at that when it comes time, but little, look at that cat, my God. Got this wonderful witch. Very good. Is this vintage? I don't think this is a vintage one. Again, I, you know, like I've taped these a lot and stuff. I really regret that in some instances. Here's a little moon with stars. That moon looks like he's led a nice full life. He looks tired. Got a cat, cat head. Oh, wait. Oh, this cat is even more dapper. Again, iconic. And then, you know, you just got this nice humble little, uh, Jack-o-lantern almost looks like a scarecrow head. So this is a this is a pretty magnificent little piece here. It is a clock that says, at 12 o'clock on Halloween, many strange things can be seen. It's this wonderful clock. Look at the look at the face there. And then what happens is you can it's two pieces connected with a little hinge, a little pin. You can do this. Ooh, look at that. Have them creeping out, little skeleton uh, and friends behind there. You don't see artwork like this at Target or Walmart or anywhere. I don't know why. Why don't people learn to just make Halloween look like this again? Random little witch head, two-sided. But this is fantastic. A lot of uh, articulation. You can change the paws, all four of them, the legs and uh, the tail as well. Look at that. This stuff is pretty great. It is garland. I'm not really gonna be able to properly show it. Oh, kind of. You can see it's like three-dimensional and you put this up on, you know, like the ceiling. It's, n I don't know what brand this is, but this is vintage. Smells, vi <laughs> smells vintage too. Smells a little like mothballs. Got some more garland here. Don't know what year this is from. Potential Bystel. But this, again, has that three-dimensional, Oh, it's got an accordion look to it, and then you got the little, the little tissue paper jack-o'-lanterns as it goes, so. I love this kind of honeycomb garland. This is pretty cool when you display it. It looks really good. Looks like classic 1930s, 40s Halloween party. This is actually a vinyl Halloween sign it says happy Halloween. It's we can see happy. There we go. And then the other side is Halloween. Oh, maybe I should put this up this year. I, I think this is old. Pretty sure. There we go. Pretty cool though. I love the artwork. Also neat that it's made out of vinyl. That makes me think maybe it isn't vintage. This is a ghost. I really like him. Once again, he is from my childhood. This is like from 1990, I think. Some very neat classic designs here. You can get these on vintagebystel.com right now. Got a witch. Again, these are tall, dual sided. We've got a owl, an owl pirate. There's something you don't see every day, I love that. And again, man, it's just the artwork, right? That wonderful artwork, it looks so cool. Here is a cat as like a three musketeer. He's got boots on and everything. Whoa, this is like before Puss in Boots. Look at his hat. He's got a little jack-o'-lantern on the top with that uh, with that feather. But he's really cool. He's very delightful. And then we got a, uh, a pirate skeleton right here. I like him the most. Maybe he's got treasure and everything. 
Look at that face. I like the uh, hexagonal, hexagonal, <laughs> hexagon eyes. They look like little bolts with jewels in them. Ooh, oh my goodness. So this is another one from my grandparents' house. This is a flocked, you might not be able to, well, you can kind of see. It's like fuzzy, that's what flocked means. It means it's like kind of little fuzzy, has like a soft feel to it. And it's uh, four jack-o'-lanterns, really neat, stacked up on top of each other, vintage. But boy, howdy, look at that back. I should be ashamed of what I've done to that back, because when I got this, it didn't look like that. Now I have a fonder appreciation for these vintage things, so we take better care of this now. But this is just, it's iconic. This is definitely one of the iconic Beistel designs. Two-sided. Happy Halloween. This is definitely vintage, but probably 1980s or 1990s. Nice little scarecrow guy. I actually do have at least I can show you what I mean. So this goes in the middle of those things. See, it's pretty cool. And then you hang it like that. So this is vintage. It's, it's an old one. I don't know the date. It says, there's no date, but it's, it's, it's got like an embossed to it. Like it's 3D and uh, this is really cool. I saw this all the time growing up in the 80s, late 80s, you know, in the early 90s. I think she's actually maybe got a date on her somewhere. Her crotch is a little worn, but who among us doesn't have that problem? Uh, oh, 1980. So this was from 1980. I was not even close to being born yet. So I love it. But just look at the, look at the cool details on her and what amazing artwork. Again, like you go to Target or Walmart or wherever, you don't see Halloween stuff drawn like this with all the detail. It looks like, I mean, this was clearly hand painted and stuff and look at her little shoes. And she's of course articulated. You could do some poses. This gal is amazing. I am so happy. Again, I'll say it again. I am so happy that Beistel does reprints, reproductions of a lot of their stuff. They've done like thousands of designs throughout the years, but um, they got maybe, I don't know, maybe 50 reproductions on their website. But this is one of them. This is a witch from back in the day. She's in very good condition. And uh, that's because she I bought her like two or three years ago, but look at her. Man, she's got some style. Look at them boots. Ho. Oh. I'm reviewing the fashion of these creatures, uh, but she's pretty wonderful. I don't know about the face. What do you think? Do we look like we'd make a good couple? She turned away from me and she's not even real. This is another one from my childhood, grandparents' house. It is from Beistel and 1987 is the date on this. We got some wings that are honeycomb, but they're a little tattered. I don't know, this this bat would have a little bit of a, a problem flying these days. But again, like, I just love, I love the artwork. I mean, that's true for everything I'm showing you here today. But, um, pretty neat. Smells musty, that's just the way I like it. So I got a pile of vintage ones here. These are a couple ghosts. This is like, uh, I don't think this is Bystool. I don't know what company this is, but got some ghosts with locks. Where do they have locks? I don't know. And a little, oh, look at the, look at the candle. Ooh, that's scary. Okay, this is, all right, this goes with, I got this little spider and I've got this cat. This goes with the, the ghost, I think, that I showed you earlier. And oh, this is again, like I saw these my whole childhood for Halloween. This is from 1990. It is the Cande Benavides, C-A-N, well, read it yourself there. I don't know what brand that is, but yeah, they're both from 1990. And they used to have like a little metal thing on the back, like little metal clips that you'd put on like a fence. But this right here, man, again, this is, this is Halloween to me. I don't know what this is. This was in a lot of die cuts from my neighbors when they had a garage sale. Is this Freddy Krueger? This is, I don't know who this is. This is a vintage one. I'm fairly certain I could be wrong, but it's vintage from like the 80s. 
Frankenstein's monster, double-sided. Trick or treat, it's a ghost, happy little ghost, fat little ghost. This ghost has been eating a lot of McDonald's. He doesn't just have a cheat night, he has a cheat week. But yeah, it says trick or treat. Even the trick or treat thing has like a little spider web behind it in the black. He's got a little owl friend there. Oh, again, I'm looking at, I'm looking at this, I'm ashamed. Her foot is hanging off. Josh, you are under arrest, God. We're gonna fix, oh, well, it's not hanging off anymore, so I don't know if that's good or bad. We'll tape that on. But this is an old one from like the 70s or 80s. This is fantastic. It is flocked. Her purple clothing, whether it be the hat or the, the uh, gown or whatever, is flocked. The cat is not flocked, ironically. But yeah, maybe you can see it if I like angle it. You see that? It's kind of like fuzzy. Pretty cool. Oh, okay. So these are vintage. They are, I cannot remember the company. They're not, they're not Bystel. But I think there are three of them and they have some great color. Look at these bright colors. Very like uh, neon. We've got Count Dracula looking nice and spooky. We've got the Wicked Witch here with a cauldron. And then we got a nice little, uh, you know, Beta Soy Boy Scarecrow. Look at him. These are from the 80s. We've got, ooh, look at that. The Wolfman, he is creepy looking. He's got, he's in a he's in a cemetery. Well, it's funny, He's he's got like a, like he was just getting off of work and he turned into the Wolfman. He's got like a nice little dress shirt on and a tie. This guy, there's no hope for him. He's just a scary skeleton in a crypt. All sorts of things happening there. Close the lid on that sucker. Oh, look at the bat. Look at that bat artwork, dang. This is magnificent. It's also ripping, so we're gonna have to fix that from the back there, but this is old, and it is a haunted mansion, a haunted house. This is more of a haunted house, but the great thing about this is there's all sorts of ghosts just hanging out. Now, one of the things that's really magnificent is some of the ghosts are clearly women because they have uh, breasts, which is, not something that you often see. One of them is actually uh, putting the move. Yeah, one of them's putting the moves on the lady here. She's not having it though. See that? It's kind of cute. Judging from this gentleman's clothing, I'm going to guess this is from the 1960s or 70s because it is illegal to dress like this now, uh, unfortunately. I actually think he looks amazing. He looks like he'd be on an episode of Good Times or something. Dynamite! Is that what they said on Good Times? I don't know, I only watch All in the Family, but uh, yeah. And that was the 70s, not the 60s. So he's got this slick little hat with all these patches on it. His pants have, at this point, you gotta just get a new pair of pants, my dude. You've had to patch these pants up like 17 times. Maybe he's living in poverty. This is good old fashioned pumpkin poverty here. But he is great, he is, um... oh wait, we got a date. Oh my god, 1976, so I was right about the 70s. But yeah, this is, uh, this guy's just wonderful. He's, he's, he's an acquired taste with his fashion. Look at that. This is turning into a puppet show. This is really great, another one of these. This is like a collection of three or four monster heads from the 1983. Pretty good condition for being from 1983. Got some of the tape issues, but he's really good. So this is Garland from Bystel, and you know, you're hanging on the ceiling, but look at this, my goodness. Got all this wonderful artwork here. So amazing. Bystel, God bless what you've done for Halloween. That's all I gotta say. I love this witch. And then it repeats after four, but actually the colors are different. So these are like orange instead of green. There's the orange guy. So this is just amazing. I think it's about six feet. So you could order a couple packages of this. I like how even in between, they've got that great artwork on like the top part. You know what I mean? Not just the, it just, fantastic. Skull, this is definitely old. Nice and faded. Oh, he's got, he's got kind of a little butt chin going on, but got the crossbones behind him. Nice. We have a very bright neon witch flying over the moon, looking very neat from Bystel right here. We've also got in the same collection, a owl 
on a tree branch over the moon. A lot of cool little star designs there. Nice fuzzy. He looks all fuzzy. Look at his little cheeks. Very good. Here we have a haunted house. Very neat. Everybody loves a good haunted house. Very iconic one. Oh, we got a little friend. We got a little friend in the window there, a little ghost friend. And then the last one in that collection is this cat. So this guy is really good. He is, the original one is from, God, I don't even know, long time ago, before I was born. But he's like a little gesture, jester pumpkin. And you know, he's got the little pins. You can do stuff with them. Uh, let's see, let's review his shoes. Not bad, not bad. Kind of giving Peter Pan vibes. I like the pants. I like the poofy pants with, uh, with the black tights. This is a look. This might be a girl because of the little eyelashes. I don't know. And I'm not gonna check. I don't know how to check. The, the honeycomb part is the cauldron and she's stirring up something. Little owl is looking in there. Very neat, very, very cool. Like that quite a bit. I've also got this is, this one is I think really vintage. 1979, maybe not, I don't know. This might be one from my grandparents. But look at that, that's really cool. Scarecrow by a, not a haystack, corn, corn stalks. That looks really cool though. I like this as a centerpiece. Look at this guy is ooh, weird body shape, but very cool, happy little scarecrow there. And then one more that I was going to show you um, is this one. This is, you know, I find that these are actually, so it's a haunted house. I find that these do not actually stand up. They get a little bit vump because, you know, it's sort of top heavy and flimsy. So um, this is not a, this is not an old school one, but. You know, the base is uh, the base is the honeycomb. And you got this great, it's like it's meant to be like a hill where the haunted house is on. Got those really cool ghosts, these phantoms. Now, because it's not, you know, this isn't like a valuable one per se, because it's somewhat newer. Um, I did actually put, I glued a piece of foam board to the back of it so that this, this wouldn't bend, because it gets real floppy. Um, so I did that. Would not do that with a real vintage one, but this one's like six bucks online, so. Then last but not least, and also not really last, because I do have a few more, but I mean, I think I've shown you the majority here. This is another one from my grandparents' house, one that I saw many times growing up. It's a legit one. It is a scarecrow guy, and I think if you're looking at this, this looks blue. I think originally this was purple. I think he had a purple uh, blazer on. But he's, again, you know, the fashion and the boots. I do like these boots, man. These are some cool boots. I mean, I don't know, this one's not in the greatest condition, but his boot is falling apart. This is actually in pretty decent condition. This was taped, I can tell. Well, but other than being faded, this guy is pretty neat. Vintage Halloween die cuts. This was a way longer video than I thought it would be, but hopefully it was kind of fun to just hang out and chill with me and enjoy some really wonderful Halloween artwork.